Listen, bro, I'll tell you something. Ain't nothing in this world that you could flex when you decide to be a superior being. I'm going to restate that. Ain't nothing in this world you could flex besides superior conduct when you choose to decide to become a superior being. Whatever you are, your world is yours. This program, this mindset, this school, this philosophy is only designed for those individuals who can fathom and comprehend that. There is no other way to a better existence besides improving the person who is existing within the existence. Who is that? That's you, right? So by improving the individual, the conduct of the individual, then the existence as a byproduct of the conduct of the individual. Now, all of these words may be uh, a little bit too complex for some of the dummies in the back, so let me try to keep it a little simple. The universal standard in this entire cosmos that we can all and we only accept is conduct. You may fall into different cultural systems and subjective systems because although you believe or want to believe that the world is subjective, the only thing subjective is your experience within the objective world, right? You live in an objective universe with objective laws that don't change that based on your opinion of them or not. If I decide to go and I'm out this window, then ah, I'm out this window and there's no more shiki chic. Same thing for you. Same thing for anything that has any type of mass. Now, let's get away from the logical side of things for a second and just get straight to the point. Superior conduct is the only thing worth flexing. What are you going to flex? What are you flexing? Oh, look at me. I got a bottle in my hand. Stupid, you dumb fuck. You look like an asshole. Oh, look at me. I'm fat. I look like Gucci Man in 2006. Uh, like, what the fuck? You look sloppy, and we know what this is all tied to. We That's the thing about it. It's not even about the front street actions. It's that we know what this is all tied to. We know that this seeking of validation and these drinking in the bottles, that's some adolescent fucking i want to be a rebel bullshit but really you're just fucking your life at a certain point homie you got to realize you a grown-ass man you a grown-ass woman and it's time for you to start standing on responsibility and handling business and you look like a fucking child with your ass out fucking showing your ass and just drinking and smoking and doing all this dumb shit like who get like what the fuck so then it becomes a thing a matter of we know what these things mean Right? We know what substance use means. At the end of the day, the fact that y'all really can't exist without it and y'all need it to function, that just shows that you have internal weaknesses. Now, although we do live in a world where, you know, our eyes show us a lot, some of us don't only use our two organic eyes to perceive reality, right? So what does that mean? That means that we obviously know that there is an invisible world within you. That subjective experience we spoke about that you're experiencing within the objective world, your subjective experience is too much for you to handle. So you get external tools to try to help you mitigate your turbulent, disturbed, disturbulent internal existence, right? So we link all of substance use, smoking, drinking, pills, Anything that is changing of your neurochemistry to create a psychoactive effect to distract you from your personal psychoactive natural resonance, huh, right? All of these things are just tools to accommodate your weakness. So we already know what that means. Next, when we see an individual who's out of shape, poor conduct. At the end of the day, you showing up sloppy just shows that one, you don't take yourself serious enough. You're mad self-indulgent. You're selfish. You're lazy. You're a punk. It's just what it is. You don't have no self-respect. I can't pull up. I can't be pulling up to no beach. I remember what it felt like to pull up to the beach, to the pool, and I was one of the skinniest people in the world. You know what I'm saying? Wearing a t-shirt at the pool. Everybody else, all oh, everybody else flexing, doing flips in the pool, shirts off, everybody feeling wavy. You feeling like, like all self-conscious and shit. You know what the vibes are. You know what the vibes are. So why don't you fix it? Oh, I forgot. You was a lazy, dumb, irresponsible bitch. Right. So people on my team, people that join my team, People that join YWI, people who adopt YWI, people who study under the YWI philosophy and got their own shit because it's really YWI. I don't want you to think YWI means anything about me. It's just a baseline philosophy for all individuals who recognize that, yes, your world is yours. So the people who align with the program are those individuals who realize, yeah, like, well, it's time for me to become a superior, a superior being, right? Superior. In Arabic, there's no P. There's only B. So when they say computer, they say computer. So I had an Arabic moment.
Anyway, superior conduct, right? Superior being, becoming a superior being. You have to get to that level because it's like, where's your self-worth? Where is your self-respect? Where is, who do you believe you should be? What the fuck is that? Whatever you are, your world is yours. Superior conduct is the only universally flexible standard. So now once you get to this point, you're like, oh shit, what does superior conduct really mean? That just means I never fail myself and I live up to the highest possible known standard and I increase my knowledge of the possible standard so that I can increase my living up to higher possible known standards in perpetuity. And I live up to it. So I just don't fail myself, right? So we said it in the last video or the video before the last video. Just stop failing yourself. Everybody's walking this earth and you can tell that they're failing themselves, right? So the only thing that I flex from here to eternity, right, is just never fail myself. You know, I know what I need to be. I fuck wanna be. I know what I need to be to feel truly satisfied with myself. I need to be sober. That's not, I'm not backstepping on that shit at all. I need to be fit. I need to pull up with a body that's a symbol of pure, just straight up ability to provide value to self, self-protection, self-respect. I need that body that when you see it, you like, damn, that motherfucker puts in work. Not damn, that motherfucker just sits on the couch and eats fucking Cheetos all day, eating honey buns and talking shit, watching other people be lit. You know what I'm saying? I need that body that women, when they look at me, they like, um, I feel very safe around this person because their body is reflective of high degree of work ethic. And he is not a pleasure seeking bitch. Actually, wow, I'd, I'd love to touch that. Mm, mm. Man, it's just what it is, right? Secondly, I need to know life. I can't be living life born into an existence that people have fully figured out to high degrees. And I'm just going to sit here and be ignorant to reality and sit back and have to suffer the consequences of not knowing what the fuck is going on around me, right? I just, I just got to know. I, I got to, I need the answers. I need the answers. I can't walk around believing some bullshit. Feel me? Like even when they told me about Allah, God, Islam, Christianity, all the religions, I needed the answers. So I went and got the answers. This is how I became the most enlightened being that I know on the planet. Whatever you are, your world is yours. Consider the vibrations raised. It's really like that. And I need to have money. I don't give a fuck. All you dumbass motherfuckers is out here trying to talk about, oh yeah, money's not everything. Money is not everything. But you can't say that when you're not sober, fit, and enlightened. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. So what is everything to you? What is it? What What is it? If you're not sober, fit, and enlightened all at the same time, there's no way in the world you can say, oh, it's like money's not everything. Then what the fuck is it? Because the only thing that you have ever moved for, the only thing that you have ever put your energy and time behind and actually got out of your bed at times that were uncomfortable for you were for very small and negligible amounts of money because you're not sober, you're not fit, you're not enlightened. So really, you're a low quality individual, right? This is what it is. It's just like, this is a very low quality individual. A person who is on substances. This is why the FBI and the CIA and shit. This is why Sheikh Sheikh, if he ever hires anybody to help him because he does all this shit by himself. He's not, a, he's not high. You have to take a drug test. You have to take a drug test. It's just what it is. Nicotine is a drug too. Alcohol is a drug. You need to be 100% sober to be on my team. It's just what the fuck it is. You need to be in shape to be on my team. And you need to be able to learn and know that there's things to learn and learn how to learn so that you can get competent, right? Whatever you are, your world is yours. Before we ever talk about money, right? Because you're not sober. What the fuck? You're a liability. You're not in shape. You're a lazy, dumb fuck. And you only show up for superficial results in your personal consumption. Uh, and don't transcend the limits of your own personal gratification, you selfish fuck. And lastly, enlightened, I just can't have no dummies around me, right? So if it's not about money, it's not about money, money, not everything. So, but you out here so addicted, out of shape, ignorant, then what the fuck is it about? Stop fucking with the bullshit. Get on my team, align with the team, you know what I'm saying? We got some, I love the roster right now. There's a few people that I'm like, yeah, I was waiting for you the whole time. I, this is what it's about. It's not all about this fucking soft, let's talk about our feelings shit. I don't want to get into this weird ass feeling space, negative feeling space with y'all. The fuck? Y'all not here to fucking infect me with your negative shit. You here to correct your mindset and become a not stoppable individual. You feel me? Stop being a stoppable individual. You get me? So at the end of the day, you know, you could flex 
you could have a bunch of money and shit. But if your conduct is shot out, because people suck dick for money, people do wild, immoral things for money, people are born into money. So money is really not even like the sole measure of an individual's worth, right? The most direct and immediate measure of an individual's worth is whether or not they're sober, fit, and enlightened. And these things are inextricably linked to your personal conduct, and they're 100% in your immediate control. That's why they're 100% immediate direct reflections of your personal worth as an individual. Then we could talk about money, right? So I got the business program. I could coach you on entrepreneurial endeavors and shit like that. I could teach you how to make money. I could teach you the principles of making money. But if you're not sober, fit, enlightened, then I'm not teaching you shit about getting money because you're not even going to be able to handle the responsibilities. You can't even handle the personal responsibility that's in your own individual domain of life. You, right? So let's build you up. Get on the mid-level program. Get on the on the, on the self-mastery program, learn how to curate a high-level motherfucker who has fucking habits that are fucking savage as a motherfucker. And then from there, once you have that superior conduct locked in, you just apply that to every other area in life. And from there, it's all wins. Yeah, why are you why your world is just considered vibrations raised? You have to know when you need to be helped. That's another thing. Like, most of people drown in this life because they're unable to recognize when they need help. Know when you need help and go get help. Why don't you why your world is yours? Consider the vibrations raised. Seek superior instructions. Rise to superior conduct. Become a superior product. Evolution is the only solution. Do you get it?